Hello everyone, welcome to the new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. So in this video, what we are going to see is how we can set rules for the work items. So how to do that? I'm going to my project and under my project, I'm going to project settings. And if you see here, it is showing up what is the process which my current project is following up. So this is the one. Let me click on the hyperlink. It will directly go to the process just followed by the project and you can pick any type of work item you want i'm going with user story for user story i'm going to create some rules so this layout and states we have already covered in our earlier video if you haven't watched them please watch those videos with the playlist you are provided in the video description now let's proceed to rules now what rule we are going to create let me go to work item so there are some existing work item are there so let me select this and if you see here the current state is new what i need to do is let's say for example if the state is updated to close or if the current state is close i should make the title as read only and description as well so this is the description so if it got updated or if the current state is closed then we should prevent user from making changes to the description and title so this is our requirement let's see how to do that in order to do that go to rules just click on new rule so this is the name of my rule and condition so here you will get to see various condition yeah work item is created or its state changes to likewise you have uh, many item is there and here if you see there are various uh, conditions to be set whenever your work item is created or state got updated and if you see down here your work item state is so this is what we exactly need so whenever our work item state is this is closed then we need to make it read only so when a work item state is closed we need to make description and title as read only not to do it here if you see there are various actions which is available here you will find make read only just select this so what you need to do description you need to make it read only and you need to make title as read only right so both of them should be read only not to do it just add one more action and here if you see make read only and title so let's save it now let's proceed to validate i'm going to refresh this and let's update the state to closed and let's save it and here if you see i'm unable to edit the description and i'm unable to make changes in the title as well and you could see log symbol over here so we have created our first rule now let's create some more rules as well the second uh, rule is whenever the pre here you will find priority right so whenever priority is set to one or whenever priority is one then we need to make risk as mandatory meaning like whenever priority is one then filling up the risk is mandatory as of now you can simply save it but we need to make this as mandatory not to do it just go here and let's create one more rule let me name it and let me add a condition so when the value of priority we need to select priority here when the value of priority is one then here if you see you can add up to 10 actions and you can add two conditions over here so let me add action so this time we need to make risk as mandatory so mark as required which fill risk let's save it now let's refresh and here if you see we are getting error as well risk cannot be empty so let's fill up the risk now let's create one more uh, rule where if priority is one then we need to automatically set risk to one so how to do that now let's go back here let me create one more rule and similarly here as well let's select priority and action set the value of risk as high so now if you go here and refresh 
it automatically set risk to 1 now let's see what are the other option which is available and here if you see if you want to remove the value of risk you can do so or if you want to copy a value from one field to another field you can make use of this option so these two we have covered this one as well and here if you see these two options are there use current time to set the value of let's say for example here uh, you have let's say for example if you have one more field over here with the closed date with the date time data field and here if you see in last uh, video we have created deployment date here we can select date and time similarly you can create one more field over here uh, with the closed date and time so whenever it, the state got updated to closed then you can set the current time for the particular field you can just select the field from here likewise you can do and current user similarly closed by you can have one more field here closed by and you can set the current user whomever it is updating that user id will be updated over here likewise you can do and under conditions if you see so what are the other condition which is available whenever the current user is a member of particular group then he is not supposed to make changes in the description likewise you can set and whenever your value is defined for a particular field or no value is defined for a field you can do some action based upon it now i am going to create one more rule this time i am going with the task so whenever a task let me create a task whenever you change the state of task from new to active then we need to make the original estimate as required so how to do that just go here let me go to customer agile let me click on ok and this time task let me create a new rule for task and when your work item status active then make as required so which field original estimate so let's save it now let's refresh let me update the state to active and here if you see this is marked as required and that's it on this video we have lot of concepts to discuss hit the bell icon and wait for my next video i will provide whatsapp and telegram channel url in the video description please do join i request you hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when i am uploading new videos follow me on linkedin to stay connected thank you bye bye